Now, amazingly, some people refuse to acknowledge that Iran's goal is to develop nuclear weapons. You see, Iran claims to, uh, to do everything it's doing to in, that it's enriching uranium to develop medical isotopes. Yeah, that's right. A country that builds underground nuclear facilities, that develops intercontinental ballistic missiles, that manufactures thousands of centrifuges, and that absorbs crippling sanctions, is doing all that in order to advance medical science. So you see, when, uh, when that Iranian ICBM is flying through the air to a location near you, you've got nothing to worry about. It's only carrying medical isotopes. Thank you, Howard, and thank you, Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, if it looks like a duck, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, then what is it? What is it? That's right. It's a duck, but this duck is a nuclear duck. And it's time the world started calling a duck a duck. Thank you, Howard, and thank you, Rose. I appreciate President Obama's recent efforts to impose even tougher sanctions against Iran. And these sanctions are hurting Iran's economy. But unfortunately, Iran's nuclear program continues to march forward. My friends, Israel has waited, patiently waited, for the international community to resolve this issue. We've waited for diplomacy to work. We've waited for sanctions to work. None of us can afford to wait much longer. As Prime Minister of Israel, I will never let my people live in the shadow of annihilation. Israel wants to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon capability, that is the capability to assemble a nuclear device uh, at a point which it, at, at which it is impervious to attack from the air. The United States wants to prevent Iran from having a nuclear weapon, that is the point at which the Iranian leadership decides to develop a nuclear weapon given the technological and fuel capabilities that they have. There's a big difference there. And the meetings over the last couple of days between the president and the prime minister are not going to solve those deep differences at this point. The fact that there is such public disagreement between the United States and Israel actually undermines the efforts to stop Iran's nuclear program and only strengthens uh, the Iranians at this point.